Hi everyone, my name is Lori and welcome to The Icing Artist. So this week I thought I would show you guys how to make a lippy lipstick Shopkin character. I've had so many requests for Shopkins and so many requests just for lippy lipstick. So I thought I'd show you guys exactly how to make it at home. Now to start off, you're going to need four six inch round cakes as well as two eight inch round cakes. And these are all about two inches tall. I'm going to cut all of those in half. And then we're going to stand them up on their end and stack them along this way going up the cake board. I'm going to stack them up first just to make sure I know exactly where they're going to go on the cake board and I have enough room before I stick them down with icing. And now you're actually going to have one half left over. So if you can't use that, you can always just eat it or save it for later. I'm going to spread icing on the one half of my circle as well as the bottom and stand that up. Smush that together with my other piece and then keep doing the same thing going along until you have all of your cakes completely stacked up. You want to try to stay centered as you can going up the cake so this cake is nice and centered on the cake board. Now I'm going to carve it down a little bit just to make sure everything is completely round and we don't have any raised edges. Once that's done, I'm going to cut the top of it on an angle like this for the top of the lipstick. Now I've just made some fuchsia buttercream and I'm just going to apply that to my cake using a piping bag. It's actually tip number 789 that I'm using. And using my spatula, I'm just going to spread it out and this is just going to be a thin coat of buttercream just so I can do a nice crumb coat. Once that's done, I can do a thicker coat of buttercream going around the whole cake and smooth that out as well. If you guys are interested in any of my recipes, you can click here. I do have them all available at theicingartist.com. You don't have to perfectly smooth it out because you can use a piece of paper towel and I'm just rubbing my hand on the paper towel and peeling it off and that's gonna give me a really nice smooth finish like this and cover up any of those bumpy lines. Now I'm gonna start rolling out a strip of fondant cut it into a nice straight rectangle and apply a little water. I'm going to lay that right over top of the cake. Make sure it's nice and tight and then trim off any of the excess. I'm just going to apply a little water to the one end and add a second strip of fondant on top of there. Now using some gold color dust, and I'm just using some vodka here, but you can also use any extracts like a vanilla extract. And we're using that to paint the colors on. And what happens is the alcohol or the extract evaporates off and it just leaves your color or your dust onto the cake. So using nice and long brush strokes, I'm just gonna brush my paint onto the cake. And of course this is completely edible. Now for her shoes, super simple, roll it into an oval and then pinch the one end. And that's a little Shopkin high heel. I'm just gonna paint the front of that. Add some buttercream. And then stick that onto the bottom of the cake. And you wanna do that with both high heels, kind of pointing in towards it. And then finish painting them. For her hearts, I'm using a number 12 tip and just piping a little ball and kind of pulling it towards me. Just little ball and pulling, just like that. And then you can top it with a piece of paper towel and that's gonna give you a nice little heart. For our arms, I'm just gonna kind of pipe again with the number 12 and just add a lot more pressure onto my bag until I get these little arms coming out of the cake. Add a white circle for her eye and then a smaller blue circle. Tapping down each time to make sure it's nice and smooth. Using a darker shade of fuchsia, I'm gonna do her nose and her lips. Then outline her eye using a number five tip and black buttercream, as well as create the center of her eye. And her eyelashes. Now her second eye is gonna be winking. So you just want to make almost a half circle and then add an eyelash as well as her eyebrows. 
Now I think she has like a makeup brush or something in her hand. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna add some of that using my black buttercream and add a little speck of white for her eye. And see what it looks like on the inside. And that's it, your Shopkins cake is all done. Thank you guys all so much for your requests. I had a lot of fun making this week's Shopkins cake and I had so many requests. You guys have been going crazy for Shopkins. So I hope you really enjoyed the lippy lipstick cake. If you guys would like to learn how you can have top priority when it comes to requests to really learn how you can get those requests made into tutorials, you can check out my Patreon link below me. Patreon is a site that you can go on and support me and my channel by donating as little as $2 a month. And for those donations, you guys actually get so much back in return. You get sneak peeks for videos, you get top priority for requests, you can have Skype calls with me, and I actually do a lot more giveaways and stuff. So I just did a Corella DeVille figurine, and I will be doing a giveaway at the end of the month for my Patreons only. So if you guys would like to learn how you can support me and keep my channel alive, I'd love for you to check out that Patreon link. And if you're not currently subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I do put out new videos every week. And they're uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.